Evening, ladies and gentlemen. Last part. Fits into the uh, primary chain. Cam chain, you want to call it. Um, dead easy, this part. It's, it is so easy. Parts you'll need. 12mm socket, 10mm socket and the ratchet to go with. Um, an M8 Allen key. It's all you need. It's, this is easy peasy. I've put the oil, oil pump. I put the water pump in already. New water pump uh, comes with the two O-rings. The larger of the O-rings goes at the front of the engine, front of the pump, and the smaller O-ring goes at the back. Give him a smidgen of engine oil or Vaseline or something just to so it slides on, and then just do these up evenly to put it on square. Um, didn't need to do a video on that because it is so simple. Cams. You've seen that all set up and the chain's on. So, here we go. And you'll see how easy this really is. Timing marks line up. So, that's all. Number one, still at top dead centre. Nothing has moved. Now, this should just slide on. So, get the camera out. And it doesn't. There we go. Now what will hold that on is the front pulley. When you put the pulley on and clamp that down, that holds that in place. Now, new chain. I got this um, kit. This is a Kenjutsu kit from a company down on the south coast. Um, Conceptua Performance or Conceptua Tuning. Right, now when we set all this up, we were left with two timing marks. So if I drop this, these on... The timing marks there we go you've got your colored links onto your timing points don't forget this was all done it's all in the correct position so easy peasy now there should be enough slack to get this over the sprocket there normally is if not I'll have to slide this off yep slide it off right timing mark colored link okay so you've got the two coloured links at the top. On some kits, it's a gold. They use a gold link. Others, it's just a different coloured link. So it should. Let me line this up. Get an awkward. Let's just turn that direction. That's it. Cheat here to get it started. There should be enough play in the chain. It just wasn't turning enough. How to make it look awkward. I'm not going to bash it on because if I bash it on, it might not want to come off again. This is what happens when you don't trial fit things and you try it first off. Right, okay, so now slide straight off. Pain to get on, slide straight off. There we go, that, that's good. So let's see if we can get that on without taking it off again. little bit of slack. Nope, I think I'm going to have to do it the awkward way. Try a bit of lubrication on there. Teeny, teeny smidgen. Oh, look, look, put the gloves in as well. Now we 
can I get that over? Yes. Yes. Okay. That was the fiddliest bit so far, to be honest, on this whole job. Double check. Yep. Points all line up. Because like it's moved over a link. I spoke too soon. <sighs> I can just see down the keyway, it's just not lining up, just a tad. I like to give it a bash with a mallet because if I give it a bash with a mallet and it jams on, I'll be in a worse place than I should. Have enough slack to slide over. Nope, it's pinged over again. Pinged over one. There we go. Right now, are these still in line? That was awkward. Right, so that should just move over to there. Right, okay. Now, as I was saying, that's held in place by the front pulley. So once the front pulley's on, that's not going to move. Um, let's just hold that in place. This is the uh, part of the tensioner. That's just um, an M8 Allen. Just to stop that chain dropping down. So, that's, we have a guide up here. Which is 12 mil, 12 mil bolts. Or I should say 12 mil headed bolts. Let's just put that in. Let's just do this finger tight. That didn't go smoothly, did it? But like I said, it's an easy job. Really, doing things in stages, it's all fairly easy. Top guide, this is all, all brand new. That will slot in place like so. What I did, when I stripped the engine down, to make life easier for me, I had loads of little jiffy bags, um, loads of little resealable bags, Timing gear, everything went in one bag, all the old stuff. So when I my new parts turned up, I could go to that bag, three large boxes full of these bags, all itemized. So I just went to the bag that said front tensioner components. I pulled out all the old components and just removed the bolts. So I do have all the original parts. I have a, a water pump, I have the gear, I have the tensioners. Um, so if you do need any of these parts and you can't afford to buy new, you've, um, you're on a really limited budget, give me a message. If you're in the UK, I'm sure I can help you out. Uh, I've got a lot of spares because that virtually everything in this engine has now been changed. So right, let's take the ratchet. Let's just nip that up.
There probably is a, a, specific, a specific torque setting for these, but I don't think that's mega important. I mean, if you want to be really uh, Mr. Perfect, you can do that. You can use the proper torque settings, but these are going to be well tight enough. I've, as I've got to get the torque wrenches out later and recheck these, I might just give them a quick tweak. Have a look in the book and see where they should be. Right, so, last little bit is your tensioner, which I had down here. And now don't. There's the tensioner. And there's the cooker going, which means my dinner is probably burning. Let's move that around to there. Line up. There we go. That's lined up. 10 mil. I have carbon for tea tonight. So. They were done. Tight. Tight. Remove the pin. Pull a little tab out. And now that is under tension. So, there we go. Basically, that's how you put the front timing chain on. Easy peasy. Um, hope you don't fiddle around as much. Pay to turn the engine over, just make sure it all rotates around once or twice. And after you've rotated it a couple of times, check your timing marks still line up. But, uh, I haven't got the pulley on. Pay to put the pulley on, or if you're not putting the pulley on, just put the bolt in, but put, it, put a nut on the bolt first so you don't have a problem getting the, the nut, the bolt back off. Okay, I hope that's helped. Thank you very much.